So one of our last videos we shot, we said that Herefords were our favorite big pig, but overall our favorite pigs are the Cooney Coonies. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> so I rolled out of bed and into a pig pen this morning. Um, <laughs> At least you didn't roll out of a pig pen into bed. Hey, who's saying I won't? This is, <laughs> this is Mike and Kelsey at Sweetbriar Farm, and we have a fresh litter of Cooney Coonies. Our Moira Rose had seven piglets last night sometime and this is one of the great things about cooney coonies is they will have their piglets and we don't have to really be there to help so we have been keeping a close eye on her um and so pigs the rule of thumb i'd always heard was if you can express milk from their teeth then that means they'll deliver within 24 hours and last night i couldn't get anything out of her um so i was surprised but Moira is a rock star and knock on wood, we only have had, this is our third Cooney litter, but these girls just get things done. All the babies were cleaned off. All the babies have been fed. All the babies were warm in a nest. So sh they're excellent mothers. I think my personal favorite thing about the Cooneys is their amazing temperaments. The kids have been in here with us this morning. Um, and we're not worried at all about aggressive mama, which is a really great thing. These coonies just have the best temperaments. I think they feel better when we're around them, um, kind of like the goats. So that's, uh, I think the best thing about coonies is their, their temperaments. They're just easy keepers. They're fun to be around and they enjoy being around their humans. Yeah, all right, so this one, this is a little boy, one hole. You can see the little scrotum there that's not filled in yet. Um, and he has no waddles like Moira. He's just got He'll be a bear that up. little chin. Yep. So we're only breeding or registering double waddled boars. Yes. You can register unwaddled boars, but... For our lines, it doesn't make sense. So, waddles are part of the breed standard for Cooney Coonies, and they're, it's, it's excellent. So, it's more dependent on what the male status is for waddles than the females, which is why you often see unwaddled females. That's not a fault of her own, um, but you want to make sure your boars are waddled. Yeah, so, Moira is not waddled, so no. she's usually, what she has, about 50-50, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. When we breed her to Roland, our double waddle board. Next, a little friend. All right, this little guy does have waddles. And here by my fingertip. Your glove. My you black glove is. Light, light, light. We got a little jewelry. Girl. This is a boy. Oh no, it's girl. Okay. So this is a gilt. So she'll be able to be a registered breeder, assuming her teeth and everything else look good. We'll check out that stuff later. Yeah, a little bigger. So, one boy, one girl so far. All right. Here's another boy. No waddles. No waddles on this one. All right, this is a female. No waddles. Mm -hmm. that one. This big one here. I kind of like that one. Yeah, me too. Kind of brownish. Yeah, and this one could be a boar. It, actually, I think it's that tricolor. See, so he's got the brown. Yeah. All right, and the last black and white is a boy with waddles. So two potential breeding boars, two barrows, and two females. Did you get that one? Yeah. So or only, two, right? Only one double waddle girl? I can't remember. We'll watch the video and figure it out. So pumpkins do Monday. Today's Sunday. And one of the things you're looking for when they're getting ready is their milk lines to fill up. And she, I don't know, she doesn't really look like she's ready to go Monday. No. We didn't think Moira was going to go last night either. 
true. You just have to wait and see. Either pump- she will or she won't. Pumpkin gets dry skin this time of year. That's why her hair is all gone. I think it's part of shedding out her winter coat too. So one of our last videos we shot, we said the Herefords were our favorite big pig, but overall our favorite pigs are the Cooney Coonies. Yes. I've been trying to convince Mike since last fall that we need to keep one Vero to raise up for meat to see how they taste. Because I'm secretly hoping one day he'll say, I think we should just have all Cooney Coonies. <laughs> yeah. Well, the bad thing about the Cooney Coonies is it takes longer for them to grow out. So you do need to plan more in advance for, for your pork. And the other bad thing is like for the butcher that one of the butchers we use, he's basically says the size of the pig almost isn't worth it for him to do it because of the smaller size. That's something that we probably, if we raise for ourselves, we'll actually butcher and process ourselves. I've heard um, butchers make the same, not our butchers, but other butchers complain about the size of Dexter's as well because those animals, a Cooney Cooney pig or a Dexter cow, will occupy the same number of slots in a butcher's um, hanging cooler, but uh, you get less meat off of them, right? Because they're smaller animals and butchers get paid by the pound. So I can understand if I'm a butcher how that would not be something I'd want to do a ton of. But there aren't very many people raising them either. For us, it's quality over quantity. Yeah, but as far as, far as the pig, the Cooney Coonies go, their temperaments are great. They're super easy to manage. Like, we let them out of the pen and they'll roam around the backyard a little bit. And if we want to pen them back up, we just call them by their name and they come running. Yeah. When we let the Coonies out of the pen, it reminds me of like when you take your dog to the dog park and you take them off the leash and they run around like crazy and they're bouncing around and having so much fun. That's what the Coonies do when we open the gate. They're just so happy. <laughs> so I'll link a video somewhere uh, from last fall when we moved the sows out of the barn back over to their winter pen. So you can take a look and see how easy it is. And actually we vaccinated them too. So anyway, favorite overall small farm pig definitely the cooney cooney yeah uh sure. they're great pigs a little little pricey up front but you do get your money back after your first litter yep. and if you're just looking for meat pigs to raise even though the barrows are a little more costly than other feeder pigs and they do take longer to raise out you your management your pastures your areas everything is easier with coonies yeah, and overall they consume far less grain like Mm -hmm. maybe two pounds of feet a day unless your kids are feeding them and fattening them up <laughs> rolling the, our one boar is looks, looks like he needs to go on another diet because our, our one boy is feeding them and uh we're not exactly sure how much he's giving them but it's enough <laughs> he's he's still uh still gets the job done he's not too over too overweight but we can all afford to lose a few pounds. It's just his winter weight. He'll thin out this summer. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.